last class we have come up with all these fundamental points connecting with sql server before we get into administration part yesterday we discussed all these basic concepts that which are related with sql server right and uh, the most important point that we have come across yesterday was related with sql server providing two types of environments one is called stand alone the other is called clustering environment, two types. And standalone environment, and uh, it will be suitable for small companies, I said. It has only one production server. Yesterday, I wrote all these points when I was explaining you these two types of environment. Mm. And yesterday, we covered, uh, along with architecture, how a standalone environment will be. File. Yeah. I'll just show you what we have yesterday come up with this uh, <clears throat> standalone environment. Yes, this was last class topic. Right? Mm -hmm. Detailed things we have discussed how standalone environment of SQL Server will be. You have got two types of uh, applications involved in this process. Um, I actually went to look at very detailed uh, explanation on this part. So I would suggest you rather, again, going with this process, you better collect the video of yesterday's class from the management and you can revise whatever I've explained you yesterday about this standalone environment. Okay. Today, we are going to continue with the next part. <laughs> right. Okay. So, what are we going to study today? Uh, first, we'll discuss. Okay. Now, what you'll discuss is about the responsibilities of DBA roles of DBA, right? So first thing where we are involved in the process is about installation and configuration of SQL Server. Since we are the one who makes decisions on, you know, a complete environment of SQL Server, along with whatever might be the reason of being, you know, SQL Server being used, uh, whether the SQL Server being used for, uh, you know, development purpose, or it is being used in business intelligence, or it's being used in, you know, front-end application development languages like Java, uh, .NET, um, or it is Python. So for all of them, whichever SQL Server and the project to which it belongs, we are the one who are going to make decisions on it. So we should know quite very clear about the both cases, like installation as well as configuration of what? SQL Server. And in that, we'll first focus on versions of SQL Server, editions of SQL Server. Then you should know installation process as well. Pre-installation steps. And then installation process. And then you should know even what are post installation steps. And even you should know about server level configuration. And even you should know DB level configuration. And even you should know connection level configuration. Yes, these all are involved in this process of what? Installation and configuration, both. Complete, complete. And installation process also. Installation process also. Obviously, we generally need to go with one type of installation. But, but as a DBA, it matters even on experience that you should know all types of installation process in it. All types. 
वन इज कॉल्ड अटेंडेड इंस्टॉलेशन वॉट इज कॉल्ड अन अटेंडेड इंस्टॉलेशन एंड वॉट इज कॉल्ड साइलेंट इंस्टॉलेशन All three, I'm going to discuss with practical probably in my coming classes. Coming classes. Whenever I start my first practical session on that day, we'll discuss those types of installation process. Okay, these are the things that you need to be aware of. Along with that, something very important that you need to know is about working of SQL Server databases. You understand first point that you need to be very clear on types of databases types and you know in the types of databases we have got three types to study three types of databases one category is called system databases one category second category is called practice databases that is called sample databases and third category is called business databases that which we create for a particular requirement for a particular task so total how many now three types are there three types three types what are they called system databases here i'll write system databases sample databases business databases right what are they how do they work how many system databases what is the role of each database everything will discuss everything detail will understand detail sir shri yes no. please actually we know that there are two types of databases one is system and another one is working database no no oh. it's actually your your answer should be three please three oh, okay Yeah, so three. Sample three. database new for me. Okay. Yeah, actually three are there: system databases, sample databases, and business databases. Okay. Three are there. Three. Okay. I'll discuss yes. them. Uh, we'll we'll discuss them. We'll discuss. Okay. Each database also I'll discuss each database. System databases may system databases may overall we'll have around five databases to study. Five. Five. Four is default. Five requires configuration. When you configure, you'll get the fifth one, right? We'll discuss detail when I start that module about C about databases. On that day, I'll discuss about all the things. Okay. And one more thing, as a DBA, you should even know you should even know internal process of database. Both both you should know. A better instead of using a word internal process. it would best if i use a word that you are you are the one who should have idea about both cases what physical level logical level both you should have that is what you call storage architecture storage architecture storage architecture to what both i am saying both logical level you should have idea physical level also you should have idea physical level okay how many levels two levels logical level physical level okay so when we start at the time i'll discuss okay both levels will discuss and the two detail process will understand detail and whatever we are learning it's not like in an assumption like there should be a some authentic you know points to justify that also we'll discuss in detail okay and one more one more the most important you need to have a knowledge on transaction processing so this is what my point is my point i'm saying my point that is development level may 
under under development process already if you are if you carry a, if you are if you are having a knowledge on sql server definitely you might have undergone to study about transactions you know what transactions obviously what is called implicit transaction what is called explicit transaction you understand ha huh. and then you might have understood even in the development classes that what are called what are called acid properties for a transaction acid properties you understand if you have idea that is fine if you don't have idea when i start the topic at least on that day you update me so that accordingly we will plan and we'll discuss so that you don't face any problem in understanding the concept of transaction at your tba level okay fine on that day we'll discuss everything we'll discuss even about transaction and we need to even know about background processes when your transaction is working with background background processes so i'll come up with architecture on the day to explain you how a transaction works right then we learn about creating and maintaining what user databases that is what i was talking about what business databases creating and maintaining business business databases yeah then we will study yeah this is also a major part to be discussed actually security in sql server security in sql sql server yeah in the security part we should know logins how to create users how to create roles how to grant permissions how to work with schemas how to work with encryption how to work with the, both here encryption and decryption both both decryption and even you should know about uh, tde etc etc these all things that you need to be aware of okay after completion of it we'll talk about disaster recovery planning yes that includes backup backup recovery restore backup may as far as sql server is concerned we find around 6 to 7 types of backups we are going to discuss you understand 6 to 7 types detail that to everything is connected even with the concept of what backup and recovery recovery yeah backups are of types one they call full backup differential backup backup through you know uh, log i mean uh, back, uh, what do you call it? tail log backup uh, right you got many many around seven eight types of backups we are going to discuss seven eight types so when we start at the time we'll see now all the types of backups and how how are, how are we going to deal backup through file and file groups there is also one type of backup process and then we will learn then we learn about migration of databases and server see i hope you remember my last session do you do you remember i was talking on uh, that standalone environment i was talking on this two uh, i just listed i'm not talking about explanation i just used these terms mirroring lock shipping hope you remember this right and even i was talking about one more replication the uh, path of disaster recovery plan Mm, yesterday's class me so my point is my concern is these things are these things are i said as a part of as a part of high availability of data i said this i i use this word high availability four concepts are there four concepts by which you can have always high availability of data mirroring 
log shipping, replication, and one more is there, one more that is called clustering. Now, what is this then? Migration, yeah, migration of Sorry, databases. Uh, what about always on? Ah, uh, migration of data. Ah, uh, yes, that is also one of the yes, 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 high availability feature. Yes, okay. migration of databases. Me, we again learn four to five techniques of database migration. One among them migration. One among the migration migration technique is backup restore recovery. Backup restore. One one migration. Second uh, second uh, process is uh, moving moving your uh, this one. Uh, what do you call uh, moving your uh, this one? Cable this go and database related files migrating the location of database my database related files and uh, third migration technique they call generating scripts generating generate generating script is also one of the uh, what do you call uh, database migration technique so that that also one separate topic that's what I just want to highlight today okay uh -huh. then we will learn we will learn about something called automation tasks under automation i'll explain you how to work with jobs how to work with alerts how to work with operators how to work with db mail db mail and then etc these are the things that i cover for what automation then sixth we would highlight about this just now i was talking high availability high availability under high availability we'll discuss lock shipping db mirroring then clustering then replication you understand so these all comes under what high high availability of data you understand yesterday also i took one example you remember that yesterday yesterday i was talking on the same concept like uh, front end people works on database and uh, Okay, uh, so if, if if front end user is working on a concept of uh, what do you call uh, back end, if a front end application has a connection with database, so he should not be aware. He should not be aware of, about what that which database got failure, which database uh, we are we are using. These all things he should not be aware. You understand? Uh -huh. So in that way, I'm talking about high availability. Even this one, always on. High availability feature. Okay, so all right. Next, next. These are these are to be studied under high availability. Then we will learn. Then, then that is about monitoring SQL Server. Under monitoring, we'll highlight what troubleshooting errors. Second. Identifying performance issues, applying something called tuning techniques, etc. Yes. And uh, even I said, like, you know, uh, especially we are the one who is going to involve in the concept of what? Monitoring, monitoring. So that is the reason yesterday I said that as a DBA, as a DBA, you should be always proactive. Should be always proactive, proactive. See that day to day, you make things thoroughly available, thoroughly available with respect to backup, with respect to users, with respect to, you know, identifying issues. Then and there, then and there. The moment you find an issue, you try to rectify. If you maintain things properly, when you are proactive, when you are proactive, and when you maintain things properly, never you come across with any issues in your, you know, uh, in your uh, maintenance point. Huh. For example, 
for example, due to some reason, we could lag behind for some point. So in that situation, if some problem has arised, now DBA should be reactive. Either proactive, if if if, if even in the in that case, if 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 by some chance if issue has come, immediate, immediate, try to rectify that problem. That's what I mean to say. Either you should be proactive or you should be reactive. Before the next problem arises, you try to rectify the first which we have come across, the first problem that you have faced. You understand? These are the, these are the, what? Roles of, or roles and responsibilities of DBA. Uh, when I look into all this stuff, I may miss you. Nothing to worry on that even as well. Definitely when I come to that each and every as a separate module, if something I missed will be discussed at that point. Yeah, any questions you have? Anyone, anyone has any questions on this part what I listed for your instant reference? Please go ahead. At least confirm it through chat panel so that I would like to have the next topic to begin with. Go ahead, please. Any issues you have? No, I'm working with that. Okay, okay, fine with that. Right to that. Anthony, what about you? Kranti, okay, Kranti. Indrani. Just confirm me through chat panel, please. If you have issues with your head, mic, then you just can you, uh, update me through chat panel. Anupam. Am I audible, Anupam, to you? Yes, sir, yes. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Yeah, that is what I'm saying, Anthony. That is what I was saying. I said roles of what are we, what are that we are involved with, those things I listed. These are to be discussed practically. Okay. So, right. Right. Now we'll go with now. Now we go with something called database implementation life cycle. Database implementation life cycle. So in the life cycle of database, when you especially go with implementation of database, the life cycle actually goes with three stages. Three stages. One is called designing stage. Second is called development stage. And third is called, third one, third one, that is called production stage. So database total goes with three, three stages in the life cycle. Life cycle of database implementation, it goes with the three stages. Designing stage, development stage, production stage. So if you people have idea on any of the things which I'm trying to come up with, please, you can be open. Like instead of that, we'll go with another topic. So you can be feel, you can feel free to come in and give your suggestions even on that, what I'm trying to come up with a over explanation. You, do you have idea on this part? Then if you, then I won't talk on this. We'll go to next topic then. If you don't have, then I'll give you some brief idea on every stage what happens. So that you get, you get to know about what is the, what are the uh, tasks that will be carried out in all the three stages. Oh, okay, that's fine. No, that's fine. No issues. No issues. Okay, no problem. We'll talk about this. One. And remember one thing. Designing stage is what your primary stage it is. Primary. Primary stage. And second is about developer. This is the responsibilities of developer. And here I'm talking about DBA, database administrator. Three, three, three people are. Three. And always flow will be like this flow. Designing, designing. Through that will go to development. From development, things will go to production. This is the approach. This is the approach. You understand? Okay, first let me talk on designing. Designing me, what are that 
you know about this, right? Designing, you call architect. Architect, architect. Designing stage. Right? And what do we do? Yes, we talk about planning and analyzing. Analyzing what? Client requirements. Yeah. Planning and analyzing what I said? Client, client requirements. Okay. Yeah. For, for, for what reason? For what reason you are going to you are going to create and manage database. Okay. For that particular reason, you should know what that client requires, what he needs in his database, how is he going to work on database, how he is going to manage database, everything. If client gives you clear information, then you can plan and analyze clearly. You understand? Planning and analyzing whose requirements? Client, client requirement. For whom database is being created? For whom developers are going to work? For whom maintenance process is being done? Yes. And designing statement, he is the one who designs the database. Designing database. And, and one more, most important point, most important point. You know, sometimes I'm saying, sometimes database is quite very, you know, lengthy. Database is come sometimes, sometimes, you know, quite very heavy to manage the things. Even in that case, remember, designing process may go months together. Designing process. Designing process may go months, months together. You understand? Ah, so if designing goes months together, then obviously, say uh, for example, a database you are designing, assume, assume, you are designing one database, okay, and that database designing you started today and that, that was going on for one month over, one month over. After one month, you got some good opportunity, you left the job. You left the job. You are not there now. Now you are not architect of that company. But you are the one who started one database. You are the one who designed that database take around from past one month you're designing. And after one month, you got some good opportunity, you left the law. Then, then what is the situation of the next person who joins into the same position? If the next person who joins into the same position, he should know na, till what you have designed, what is that you have done in the design, what are the things that you made come into uh, to, to, to the towards the designing of one month process. So that is the reason what company will do. Company will make a policy with that architect. They make a policy, policy, compulsory, day to day, whatever he designs, he is supposed to document that design. He is supposed to document, document. Preparing design documents. Whatever he has designed. He is supposed to document it. Yeah, Anthony, we'll do it. We'll do it. Once we finalize the people for our batch, definitely we'll do it. No issues at all. We'll do it. Okay. Yeah. So this, these are the things you can see. Design documents in the sense. That's what they call you write MS for document daily. Whatever the task you did today of, about designing, you write in the form of document. That will help, that will be helpful for other people to understand, you know, designing part. Mm. And what happens at development level? Uh, development, I'll write. What? Implementation. Database. Second, second. We are the one, I mean, it developers, developers, they are going to write coding, programming. They are the one who is involved in debugging. They are the one who is involved in fine-tuning queries. 
fine tuning, fine tuning queries. Okay. Um, whether whether you know or not, I don't know, but, but still I'll just give you some overview on this part. Coming classes, I will study in detail. Coding is about programming, I'm talking about. Debugging is about rectifying issues, errors, whatever things that comes under it. Fine tuning queries in the sense what? You should write a query. I mean to say developer should write a query in such a way, such a way that query should run fast and that query should run smoothly, smoothly. Two factors you can call, two factors. On the basis of it, fine-tuned queries are decided. What are those two factors? I just use the words, please. I won't explain today. I just use the word. Fine-tuned queries includes two, two points. I said, two points. One is called efficiency. Second is called convenient. Convenient, efficient. No, 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 Anthony. This is not development part. Uh, but yesterday, since it was a demo class, I said one thing that I would repeat today also. If anything related to development, if you people are not comfortable with, or if you have if you have studied but you could not recollect, or you studied or you have some you know uh, misconception on any of the things what I'm teaching, what you have studied, then in that aspect, I'll get back to you to study few things of development, but not complete development process. We will study, but not complete, complete. Wherever it is needed on the day, I'll discuss that development part. Overview, I can explain because that may again go for a few sessions to discuss on development part. Okay, fine. And coming to the third area where development process includes, that is about testing database. Testing of database, database. That is all happens at which level? Development stage. Huh. Now, now what about this production? Yeah, this is these are our responsibilities. What? Database maintenance, yeah, one point. Second, monitoring and troubleshooting. Troubleshooting. Both, please, both, both. DB and server issues. Both, both I'm saying, but not one, both monitoring and troubleshooting, both issues. And even you're responsible for some special events. What are they? Responsible for following events. What it includes? What it includes? What events? Yeah, one. Never server is down. No downtime. No, no downtime. Never, never. Server should never go down. Even if you're planning for some reason of maintenance, a prior intimation should be given to the complete team. Complete team. A one month before, one month notice, one, one month before, you should intimate them that on so and so day, on so and so time, so and so server will not be available so that they can plan to do some less task on that particular day instead of pressuring the non-production. Instead of pressuring non-production. Right? And then we are, in, we are involved even with what? Something called no data loss. And even we are involved with no performance issues. Even we are involved with no connectivity issues. Then no security issues. Oh, lot are there, lot. I, I can make a big list now. These are all, these are all. Some of them I listed for your instant reference. Yeah. Any, anyone who has any questions on this to ask me, go ahead, please. If not, I'll, I'll begin with my next topic then. 
Uday, what about you, Uday? You, uh, you are clear with this part, Uday? Anupam Tiwari. Is this, is this clear, Anupam, for you? Indrani. Am I audible, Indrani? Yeah, I'm, I'm unable to find any message from your end. Am I audible? Uh, sorry, Sharif. Uh, my mic was not the issue. Uh, issue. Uh, okay. I'm okay with You're that. Comfortable, na? Okay, okay. Yes. that's fine. That's fine. No issues, no issues. Fine, fine. Nay, 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 nay. No kranti. Nothing. No scripting. Na. Scripting in the sense, you know, here, here. In SQL server, in SQL server, uh, scripting is that we call coding. Coding. Whatever queries you write, whatever the task you do on data, this is what you call scripting. Scripting is not something front-end applications do. That type of scripting we don't need. Either. But here scripting scripting is considered to be like what? Coding part. Coding part is a scripting point. Querying part is a scripting point. You understand? Uh -huh. Okay, Kranti, is this clear what I said to you? Am, am I, I, did I answer you to, to your point what you asked me? Or you have something else? Okay, that's fine. So if you want to be a DBA, yeah. we have to learn that some uh, coding and also no? we have to be perfect. See, see that. that is what my point is. My point is compulsory as a DBA, you should have knowledge of development. You understand? So it means yeah. you should have knowledge of working with queries. Queries. You should have knowledge. Development part should be known. Development part should be, should be known. What in that? Yes, obviously. Include SQL. Yes, you should have knowledge on SQL. When I say SQL, Obvious, because when I start my practical, I will be writing queries. I will be writing queries. 100% I'll write queries. And qu DBA is not about everything managing through wizards. No, querying part, part also you need to have. So obviously when you talk about queries, then you should know this. What You should know about joins. You should know about subqueries. You should know about, you should know about something called, you know, uh, set joins. You should know about functions. You understand? Okay. And you know one thing, one more point, you know, even, even when I start my practicals on DBA, I am going to create, I am going to create tables Tables, tables. When I create tables, you should have knowledge. If I if you want, I can give you overview. But everything about table discussion in this sessions of DBA is not possible. I can give you tables. You should know. You should know what are what are something called something called user defined tables. You should know what is called system tables. You should know what is called temporary tables. You should know what is called table variables. You should know what is called something a uh, magic tables. Development level may they teach all this. We are not going to study all of them in my classes. My target will be only two in this DBA, user-defined tables, system tables. Our concern is only on those two now. Development level, they teach you all these things. I myself will teach in my development classes. And, 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 and this is for your knowledge, I'm saying, when you talk about tables, you should know tables has types of columns. Types of columns. That includes identity column. You should know about simple columns. You should know about something called as persisted and non-persisted columns.
Is it something that is it DBA? We should know this or this? There is no. I am talking about development level. Oh, okay. You have idea. It's added advantage for you. If you don't have idea, we don't come across this in DBA. Okay. But but point is, see, that's what my concern is. The point is when you are going at administration level, it's always recommended, always recommended to have knowledge of SQL mandatory, mandatory. Okay, it, it kind of uh, addition uh, advantage for us. If you know these queries and uh, all these uh, things. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, during troubleshooting, we can uh, use our knowledge. Yes, yes. Okay. That's it. And even I would, I would like to make you people aware even of this fact, you know, uh, if at all, if at all, uh, in a very short span of time, I even plan, they're planning, even management is planning to start off my SQL Server development classes. If you have idea, that is fine. If you don't have idea, you are new to uh, the SQL Server or new to SQL Server, man, I mean, this process, then I would even suggest you to join those classes of even uh, what development that will go in a different level of discussion. This will go in a different level of discussion. There I won't talk about any architectures connecting with DBA. I only show you how database is created and how you work with database. And here I have to show you here, physical level may what happens at database, logical level may what happens at database. There you cannot study. Development level may those people doesn't need all of them. And, and one more point also remember, compulsory, you should have knowledge on stored procedures that we study at development level, stored procedures. Stored procedures may we, I mean, I teach in my development classes, system stored procedures. Extended stored procedures. Temporary stored procedures, user defined stored procedures. Hey, are you following me? What I'm saying, Indrani? Yes, yeah, sir. Is this clear? Yes, sir. Clear. You have idea, the no issues. That's what my I said this point, right? For example. For example, if at all, if I'm just giving an idea so that you people can make a clear mindset, uh, you know, before you join to me with my DBA classes, assume, assume in my discussion of uh, DBA classes, believe me, I come across to use something called views, views. I use this. But when I show you views, I won't show you views of development level. Uh, development level views are different. But that's what, if you don't have idea, when I start this topic in DBA, just update me on that day, whether you're aware or you're not aware, so that I can plan accordingly and give you some brush up things on views, then we'll continue. Okay. Views may, views may, we have all these simple views, you know, simple views, check option views, right? Uh, complex views, and uh, encrypted views and uh, yes, uh, what is called schema binded views, schema binded views. These are all types of views. views, types you have. Okay, is this clear what I said you? Okay. Yeah, Indrani, anything you, you, you would like to ask on this? No, sir. Not. Yeah, you're comfortable? Just I want to know. Yeah. Uh, if you want to learn DBA, just we want no. to know about all these things. 
yeah yeah definitely definitely that's what whenever i start the topic and i i do in every batch it's not for you every batch may do even in dba classes also before i start something if it has something a reflection on development part i just get you with overview of the things so that these things you can understand easily okay okay sir thank you okay so the fine now let's proceed now fine next i am going to just give you an idea on this i won't talk on them in today's class probably next class we will discuss in detail about it that is about types of servers you have idea on this everyone do you know what are the types of servers one database server second integration server third reporting server and fourth analysis server Yesterday you told that SSIS. Yeah, SSIS, SSIS, SSIS. 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 Yeah, here you call them by server section. During installation of SQL Server, during during installation of SQL Server, everything is made available in the form of check boxes. Check boxes. Okay, all okay. Phases, database server integration reporting analysis. Okay, so each server related uh, overview part definitely not now. Next class, we will discuss definitely. Okay, so right, we'll stop the session. Yeah. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh,